All right, guys, um, I was looking at my map. I'm out here. I've been out for most of the day. Had an okay day. Um, was literally looking at the map, going out with a friend this weekend, and I was looking at spots, and I saw a bunch of marks below me and dropped down. I've been fighting this thing for a few minutes now, and I have not seen it. I can't tell what it is, honestly. I just saw it. It's big. It's like really big. I don't know what it is though. I was just like randomly drifting over like 17 feet of water, 17, 18 feet of water. And I saw like five or six big marks on the screen. And this thing has just been digging me. Again, I, I have not, I just saw a flash and it looked really big. I have no idea what it is though. I'm, I'm thinking smally just because of how hard it's fighting, but my gosh. What in the world is that? Oh my gosh, I just hooked a giant brown trout. No way. Oh my gosh, I just hooked a freaking brown trout on a drop shot. No way, dude. No way. No way did this just happen. It's a big brown. For an inlet for an inland brown, this is monstrous. Wow, I saw like kind of how silver it was and I thought it was a giant largy. It is a mega brown. Oh my gosh. No way did I just pull up on a school of brown trout in like 20 feet of water in the middle of the lake. Dude, what in the world? On a drop shot. Of all things. Oh my gosh, it's like actually a really big brown. Holy crap. This fight's been probably five minutes now. Man, no matter where I go, I can't get away from the brown trout. Wow. It's a big brown. If it was Great Lakes, I'd say it's a pretty good brown. But the fact that I'm at this pretty small lake in northern Wisconsin, this is a freaking huge brown. Oh my god. What in the world? There's no way I just randomly dropped down on a school of browns. Here she comes. No, she's not done yet. And I have a... I have a sprained thumb right now. So netting this thing is going to get really interesting. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I don't think she's done yet. Um, okay then. That was a heck of a run. I didn't snag her either. She's hooked right in the top of the mouth. I can see my... My drop shot bait sitting in the top of her mouth. I thought I, I'm not gonna lie, I thought I had like a seven pound bass at the start of this fight.
How weird is this? Well, honestly, guys, about today, a couple of pike to start took me a while to figure out the bass. Finally got on a decent jerkbait bite, and I snapped off probably a four pounder. He jumped after I snapped him off. It was between three and four pounds, um, but that was the only jerkbait I had that was like that color and dove pretty deep. And uh, got one bass on a chatterbait after that but really, really slowed down. So I came out to just fish some offshore stuff just cause why not? Just kind of trying to figure out a plan for this weekend, look at the maps a little bit. And I look down on the graph and I'm sitting in like 17 feet of water. There's like four or five marks below me, all near the bottom. Thought for sure maybe it was a little school of bass or something, but we are on a big female brown right now. Come here, baby. Oh, shoot. This is what I was worried about. Gosh. That didn't feel very good. Shoot, man. I had a good chance to net her right there. I think she cooked decent, though. Official measurement on this beautiful inland brown. Is 25 right there. to get a releasal on this fish. There she goes. Random brown trout. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I know that wasn't much of an intro and this isn't much of an outro, but that was just kind of a random little bit of crazy there. I'm glad I had the GoPro on to show you guys what was happening. So thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you all later.